Hey guys, this is my review for The Girl with All the Gifts. This was a film that I saw a lot on io9.com and a few other websites too that were just praising this movie for being a really good and creative zombie film. We had had Train to Busan, if I'm correct, also last year, or if not from 2015 over to 2016, and that was good. I've been meaning to do a review for that movie because that movie was freaking on point. The reason why I started off the review with uh, that plug is because the girl with all the gifts is The Last of Us almost entirely. It is almost the exact same story. A viral infection that is caused by a fungus growing around the brain, a main girl who is infected with the virus but has a form of immunity to it, and a journey in which involves taking the girl to a place in which they can extract the virus from her and try and make a cure. Not saying that The Last of Us has a trademark on the whole idea of using a fungal virus as a zombie virus, but the book that this movie is based on did come out a year after this game came out. So the idea that they were both coming out at the same time is, I don't know, too much of a coincidence. The fact that there hasn't been any sort of legal dispute between the book and the game, maybe it's because Naughty Dog don't care, but I'm kind of surprised that there hasn't been. Aside from the similarities, this is a very well-made zombie movie. It takes away a lot of tropes that you normally see in most zombie films. Dumb people, ninja zombies, just stupid people, stupid situations in which how that happens. There is one or two stupid situations, I would say, but otherwise, I really enjoyed this movie. Also, I had to watch it because I saw a review that said this movie was as good as 28 Days Later, and that is my favorite infection movie some people say it's not a zombie movie so i'll just call it it's my favorite infection movie of all time so having that be a comparison to this movie was pretty high standards for myself there's four main characters really there's the sergeant there's the teacher who play who's played by gamma arton and there's the scientist who's played by glenn close how they got glenn close in a zombie movie is kind of baffling to me mind you they got her in Guardians of the Galaxy as Nova Prime, so I guess she's up for anything. And then the girl, who is the focus of the girl with all the gifts. She is exceptional in this movie. She has a wide range of character emotions because since she is a normal human being who is still kind of not certain of what the world is, she's basically been in a testing facility for years. When she gets out and she starts to live in the world, we see her sort of interact with things very accordingly very friendly as this is all it's her life has been but when things get into the fierce into the <laughs> into the eating sides she does that exceptionally well as well it's more so you kind of wonder whether she could handle the the depth as well as the maturity of such a content and she does it in strides she is honestly the best part of this movie her emulation of this character, of the strife that she lives with, and the infection, and more so the moral choices that she has to live with, are very good. There are some things that don't kind of add up to other parts in the movie in terms of how the infection works. There'll be a few scenes you'll be going, well, why did that happen there but not before? But these are all small little iterations that don't take away from the overall product. There are enough to kind of mitigate it from getting a perfect rating, but otherwise this is a very well done movie. And the ending too was really cool and creepy on many levels. Whereas I think that they didn't really explore the, the emotional, more so the psychological element of what happened in that final few minutes, I feel that the final shot really does give an even creepier version of what we were given when the film starts. This is a film that keeps you kind of guessing throughout the entire time. There are some cool scares. There's a lot of hallmark moments that take back from 28 Days Later, so you can definitely see that that was an influence on this film. So in the end, I will give The Girl With All The Gifts a 6 out of 7. It is a cool zombie movie. So between that and Train to Busan, you guys have got two great zombie movies that came out within the last few years. 
And then also, if you guys haven't seen it, I reviewed a movie called Hidden just recently, and that also is a pretty cool idea. I like these kind of creative sort of zombie movies. It's really cool. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. By the way, if you were interested in this cup, I've got the link for the tea chip article down below where you can buy it. And that's all from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. See you guys next time.